Hello. Today uh, it's first January 2015, and so it's a happy new year. And so I decided to give myself a present, and which is this power supply. It's called Metra V uh, zero to sixty volts and two amps power supply. So I thought I'll just do some quick test on this power supply. So uh, this is my setup. So the power supply. I have another power supply which is a dual output and I feed it to my constant current load uh, which I will be using to load my this power supply. So uh, I am feeding 5 volts here for this power supply for running the op amp and another uh, which is the variable supply I will be tuning it to, uh, to limit whatever current I need which is to be pumped from this power supply. Also, I have connected one oscilloscope here uh, to medical voltage, and uh, also a multimeter uh, to measure the uh, the voltage what is marked here. Some uh, feature of this power supply is um, the current. As you can see, it's not very easy to change the setting of the current. You have to use a uh, screwdriver to change the current setting. Uh, but which is good in some sense because you cannot change the current uh, limit just like that and also it has this output so I'll just show you so if you just click this output the output basically goes to zero because of some reason it doesn't go to zero it goes to a negative 0.6 volts uh, which may not be good in some sense um, but when the output goes zero it goes into a constant current mode where you can set the current by changing this uh, small potentiometer by using a screwdriver. So right now I have just set it to 0.49 or close to about 0.5 amps. Not so good feature of this power supply is that this power supply can give up to 0 to 60 volts but the setting is by a single turn potentiometer and uh, so you have to be really um, use your very uh, fine motor skill to actually change the voltage because uh, by mistake if you just turn this potentiometer you would have you you could easily um, you know let's say you are powering this uh, using this power supply you are powering some circuit with 3.3 volts just by touching this knob you could actually go from 3.3 volts to about 5 volts or 7 volts which could blow up your circuit so which is not very good um, but let's just assume that all my boards that I'll be powering will have a regulator and that should actually take care of uh, variation of voltages up to you know uh, 5 or 10 volts. So uh, coming to the testing part, so um, I have set the power supply to about 3.3 volts which is a commonly used uh, voltage for uh, running some of the microcontrollers and op amp and I have set the current limit to about 1 amps. And in the oscilloscope, I have um, set it in the trigger mode. And let me just switch on the power supply by pressing this button. So at present, the voltage is almost zero. You can see it's minus 0.6. Um, so you can consider it as zero volts. And I will give, I'll switch on the power supply and let's see how much does it actually go beyond point, uh, point, uh, 3.3 volts. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, this is the 3.3 volts, but it does actually go up to um, about 4 volts. Okay, um, now let us just check with about 5 volts and see how much does it jump when I switch on the power supply. Yeah, it does go uh, beyond 5 volts. Uh, we, okay, I have set the power supply to about 24 volts now and let us see how much is the jump in the voltage when I switch on. So here we go. Yeah, so almost there is almost no jump and also because of the fact that the scale is 10. So even if there is a jump in the voltage of about 1 to 2 volts, it won't be seen very clearly over here. Okay, this time uh, repeating the test with uh, 48 volts. So I am just switching on the power supply now. So as you can see the jump is hardly anything and again because the scale is about 10 volts per um, division so even if there is a jump about few volts you won't see anything so i think it's fairly fine um, provided at low voltage uh, there is a significant jump in the voltage 
and which is not good for controllers or some low voltage op amp so it is always recommended to use a zener or a regulator when powering with this power supply okay uh, let's just check the voltage what is being shown on the display against a uh, multimeter so let me just switch on yeah so the voltage is about 60 volts here and it shows about 59.7 let us just reduce it about 50 volts 50.5 and it shows 50.1 50.5 now reduce it about 40 volts 40.3 and it shows 39.8 yeah there is a significant difference reduce it about and you can hear the relay clicking when you change the voltage setting uh, let's again set table 24 volts and it shows 23.91 I think that's uh, fairly fine again reduce it about uh, 11.9 volts shows about 11.74 uh, about 5 volts here and 4.96 over here 3.3 volts here it shows 3.29 I think that's again fairly fine so I think the voltage uh, reading as such is good um, there is a difference about 100 millivolts which is quite significant uh, but again as I said I will probably never be powering this um, powering any circuit directly with this uh, power supply and my main um, my main purpose of this power supply was actually to power devices which needed a higher voltages and for low voltages I will definitely use a regulator in series so I think that should take care of any jump in the voltage or any uh, difference in the setting versus the real voltage okay i think we had done enough test with the uh, voltages so uh, let's just check the current limiting feature of this um, power supply so what it should basically do is uh, i have set the limit to with one amps here uh, and right now it's not giving any output so the current is limited to one amps <coughs> and this whatever is the voltage here should be actually the same as so if it shows 1 volts here that means it should be 1 amps here if it's showing 0.5 volts it means it should be having 0.5 amps so that's how the my constant current load is that's how i have made it up and also i have set the oscilloscope in ac um, ac mode and set the scale very low so as to measure any uh, ripple in the voltage so let's just power it on okay so the ripple is very less the current right now is zero let me just increase it and as you can see i have put both the power supply in the same screen so i will increase it to about 0 0.3 0 0.4 yeah there is a difference in the setting versus the actual current 0 0.5 0 0.5 as you can see um, it's taking about 0 0.59 and here you can see the ripple is all over it's all over the place mm, and the ripple is about 500 millivolts which is like huge so 0.5 volts ripple in the voltage mm, that's quite significant Uh, let me just go beyond point so it's not still it's not limiting mm, let's go about 0 0.7 so it's 0 0.78 the ripple has again increased to about 1 volts which is huge again it's a huge ripple uh, by now my okay this is still fine i'm just i'm just wondering whether my heat sink would have got really hot so if i increase it beyond uh, 1 amps it should actually stop my output voltage so 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 yeah as you can see the voltage is coming down and anything beyond that it just limits to 2 volts which is uh, 
which is not very good mm, but yeah uh, it's not very good because it's 1.9 volts 2 volts and the current is limited to about 1 amps because my uh, load is actually taking more than 1 amps so it does limit but then the voltage doesn't actually fall to zero so uh, I think this is still fine because uh, I think this overall circuit is still showing about 1 volts which is flowing considering the resistance of the wire and everything else so at 2 volts it's I'm still maintaining about 1 amps ok so repeating the test at about 5 volts again the limit is set to 1 amps so let me increase it 0.4 point actual is 0.4 this is showing 0.5 Surprisingly, the ripple is okay. Uh, the scale. Okay, there is some ripple. Point eight and point nine. Yeah. So um, I think that is uh, quite um, expected because as we go on uh, near the limit, so the limit is set to one amps. If I go, uh, if my current demand is actually very close to the limit, the ripple will go up and if i go beyond um, again if i go beyond one amps yeah again the voltage comes to about two volts yeah so um just to show another feature um till now the fan was not running but as i think you can hear now there is a fan behind this and i could hear uh, the fan is running now so uh, there is a, a temperature based uh, fan um, you know which maintains the uh, heatsink temperature up to a certain level so now the heatsink is probably heating up and that's why it is uh, running that fan okay so repeating the test at 12 volts uh, increase the current demand and i can see the same current over here almost yeah there is a difference about 0.1 volts or 0.1 amps 0 0.5 0 0.56 yeah even this is not very accurate because you can see it's just 0.1 decimal so ideally it could be 0.4 or 0.5 or 0 0.55 anything and even this could be more accurate as compared to this or vice versa but yeah again i'm not doing a very precision kind of um, test setup over here so for the price that i have paid for the for this power supply as well as this one i think it's acceptable so i am increasing the current and 0 0.8 0 0.86 it's fine the ripple has increased over here as i go near the current the set limit of the current and yeah it comes to zero if i increase beyond one m the output voltage falls to zero so coming to the overall rating of the power supply uh, i purchased it for about uh, 6400 is close to about uh, hundred dollar um, in US dollar and for uh, this uh, money um, what I get is a single turn knob which is not very good the current setting has to be done analog means uh, by using a screwdriver which is also not very good but again you can say that it's it's a safety feature but yeah that's debatable uh, you can switch on and off the output uh, which is good uh, so you can set the output but uh, on and off um, but as as i've shown earlier there is definitely a jump in the voltage which is again not very good uh, but it does give about 60 volts and so my purpose of buying this power supply is to power a uh, boost converter and which will actually give me about 300 volts for powering some other circuit and and for that i don't need a very uh, good accuracy or very high resolution power supply so i think it's a uh, fair deal i won't say it's a very good uh, purchase but i think it's a, a fair deal um, uh, well there are some more uh, connections over here um, i have not shown here so as I can show you here, so it has 
the output voltage as well as the sense terminal everything is brought outside so you can uh, well from the terminal I have not tested this feature so you can actually do a very accurate uh, regulation of this power supply so you can actually eliminate the resistance of this lead if you bring out a separate wire from here and sense the the output voltage exactly at the load uh, coming to the ripple feature um, as I have shown on the oscilloscope there is a huge ripple as you go near to the set current limit but again that is not um, that is not how you are supposed to run the power supply most of the time um, you should limit the current well below that and the current limit is more like a safety feature and I think on that level also this power supply is fairly decent and um, it has a, a temperature based fan so it's pretty silent unless and until you really run it near some heavy loads and that's when the fan starts running and actually it does some protection of the power supply and even if you compare the size i think compared to this so this is a, a 0 to 15 0 to 15 and 2 volt uh, 2 amps and 2 amps so totally even if you connect them in series it gives you 30 volts and 2 amps so about 60 watts and this is 60 volts and 2 amps which is again about 120 watts so this is 120 watts and this is 60 watts and now if you compare the size there is a big difference now but again this may not be able to give me 120 watts constantly because the over temperature circuit could actually trip this power supply I am not sure I have not tested this but I think there could be a feature which will protect this power supply but uh, I think it's a um, it's a good power supply if you just use it for your hobby or something to do at your home so happy new year uh, 2015 and